starts to fall apart. Fortunately for me, my brain is still working, as is everyone here. <clears throat> so I've been asked to say just a few words to honor our captains for this four or five day series. First of all, <clears throat> because I'm old, I've got to have a little note here in front of me. So, on behalf of the 650 girls and women that played in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League over a period of 12 years, playing seven days a week, double headers on Sunday, 110 to 118 games a season, from 1943 through 1954, which was carried on by Bill Allington and his All-Stars, which took some of the former players and toured the Midwest and played against men's teams. <clears throat> now, Bill was a pretty smart manager, so what he did was, in order to even Stephen, he said, we'll switch the batteries. So the men pitched against the men, and the women pitched against the women. I'm a catcher, guess what? I spent all my time on the ground. I prayed that I wouldn't get killed, and I didn't, <laughs> for which I'm very thankful. So, on behalf of those of us that are here and those of us that are not here, it is our pleasure, you know, in the words of Sousa Pay, all right, she would say, that it is time to pass the torch to you and your teammates as the new generation of female baseball players, primarily in the U.S. of A. All right? And so in doing this, maybe my teammates would like to help me here. Thank you. 